Hey guys, it's Ami and Moore. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this Totoro Amigurumi. He has his ears and his arrow marks and a tail and a cute little knapsack to hold his acorns. I'll be making the blue Totoro today, but you can also make him in gray and even pink if you would like. All my patterns are also available in written form on my blog on amiamore.com. You can also find the video tutorial for the suit sprite on my YouTube channel as well. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Here are the materials you'll need. For the crochet hook, I used a 5.0mm size. I used worsted weight acrylic yarn in blue, white, and also brown. For the body with blue yarn, you will go ahead and make a slip knot. And then for round one, you will chain two. That's one and two. And you'll do six single crochet into the first chain. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And just pull it close if it opens up. I use a stitch marker. To mark the end of my round, I just like to use a bobby pin. Now for round two, you're going to ignore that part right there. And if we look, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. So now we are going to do two in each stitch all the way around. And we'll have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So in our very first stitch right here, we are going to do one and into our same stitch two next stitch is one and two one and two one two one two and then in our very last stitch we'll also have two single crochet stitches that's one and two and then we can move our stitch marker again and now we should have 12 single crochet stitches for round three our pattern is going to be two and one two one repeat all the way around and you will have 18 single crochet stitches so that's going to be one and into the same stitch we are going to do our second single crochet stitch and in our next stitch we will just do one and then repeat the pattern again of one and two and then just one and continue to repeat around and you should have 18 single crochet stitches at the end for round four, our pattern is going to be two, one, one, two, one, one. Repeat around and you will have 24 single crochet stitches. So that's going to be one and two and one and one. Repeat again. It's going to be one and two and one and one. Continue to repeat all the way around and you'll have 24 single crochet stitches at the end. For round 5 to 9, we're just going to stay at 24 single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. So this is how your project should look like. If we count, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rounds that we've done so far. For round 10, our pattern is going to be two. And in our next three, just one, repeat around and you will have 30 single crochet stitches. So that's one and two in the first stitch. And then one, two, and three. Repeat the pattern again. That's one and two 
and then one, two, and three. Continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For round 11 and 12, we're just going to stay at 30 stitches. So it's just one single crochet stitch and each stitch all the way around. For round 13, our pattern is going to be two and then in the next four, just one and repeat all the way around and you'll have 36 single crochet stitches. So it's going to be one and two and then in the next four, it's just one, two, three, and four. Repeat the pattern again. It's one and two in our next stitch. And then one, two, three, four. And continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For round 14, we're just going to stay at 36 single crochet stitches. So it's just one stitch in each stitch all the way around. For round 15, our pattern is two. And then in our next five, just one, repeat around and you will have 42 single crochet stitches. So that's going to be one and two into the same stitch and then one, two, three, four, and five. Repeat the pattern again, it's two here. So it's one and two into the same stitch. And then in the next five, we'll just do one, two, three, four, and five. Continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For round 16, we are going to do a decrease and then in the next five, just one and repeat the pattern around and you'll have 36 single crochet stitches. So we're going to do a decrease right here. You should have three loops, yarn over and come out through all three and then it's just going to be one, two, three, four, and five. Repeat the pattern again. Do a decrease. And then it's one, two, three, four, and five. And continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For round 17 and 18, we're just going to stay at 36 single crochet stitches. So go ahead and do one stitch in each stitch all the way around. For round 19, our pattern is going to be a decrease. And in the next four, just one, repeat around and you'll have 30 single crochet stitches. So here is our first decrease and then it's one, two, three, and four. Repeat the pattern again. Do a decrease and then one, two, three, and four and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For round 20, we're just going to stay at 30 single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round 21, our pattern is going to be a decrease. And then in our next three, just one, repeat around and you'll have 24 single crochet stitches. Here is our first decrease. And then it's one, two, and three. Repeat the pattern again, decrease. And then one, two, and three. And continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. This is how your project should look like so far. And now what we want to do is go ahead and stuff your Totoro. Mm -hmm. 
now for round 22, we're going to do a decrease and then one and one. Repeat the pattern around and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches. So here is our first decrease. And then it's going to be one and one. Repeat the pattern again. It's a decrease and then one and one and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For round 23, our pattern's going to be a decrease, single crochet stitch, decrease, single crochet stitch, repeat around and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches. So here is our first decrease and then a single crochet stitch, a decrease, and then a single crochet stitch and continue to repeat all the way around. For round 24, we are going to decrease all the way around for a total of six decreases. So that's going to be one. Our second decrease. Three, four, and then five, and our very last or six decrease. Then you'll want to cut off a long tail. Use our scissors and cut off, and then fasten off. You'll want to finish stuffing. And here is our finished body. For the arm, you are going to go ahead and make a slip knot for your hook. And then chain two, that's one and two. And you'll do four single crochet stitch into the first chain, that's one, two, three, and four. And if it opens up, go ahead and close your loop. For round two, our pattern is going to be two in each stitch all the way around and we'll have eight single crochet stitches at the end. So in our very first stitch we are going to do one and two in the same stitch. Repeat again. It's going to be one and two. Next stitch is one and Two, and in our very last stitch, we will have one and two, and we should now have eight single crochet stitches. For round three, our pattern is two, and in our next three, just one, repeat one more time, and you'll have ten single crochet stitches. In our first stitch, that is one and two and then one two and three repeat the pattern again it's one and two and then one two and three and our very last stitch For rounds four through seven, we are just going to stay at 10 single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round eight, our pattern is a decrease. And in our next three, just one, repeat one more time and you'll have eight single crochet stitches. Here is our first decrease and then one, two and three. Repeat again, a decrease and then one, two and three.
For round 9, we will just stay at 8 single crochet stitches. So it's just one stitch in each stitch all the way around. At the end, you'll want to cut a long tail and fasten off. And this is your arm and you'll want to make two. For the tail, for round one, you will do four single crochet stitch into the magic ring. That's one, two, three, and four. And you're going to close the loop tight and use a stitch marker to mark the end of the round. For round two, our pattern's going to be two in each stitch around, and you'll have eight single crochet stitches all together. In our first stitch, we are going to have one and two, one and two, and continue to repeat around. And then into our very last stitch, we will have one and two, and we should have a total of eight single crochet stitches. For round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, repeat around, and you will have 12 single crochet stitches. So in our first stitch, we're going to have one and two and one. Repeat the pattern again, one and two and one. And continue to repeat the pattern around. For round four and five, we are going to stay at 12 single crochet stitches. So we are going to do one stitch and each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round six, our pattern is going to be a decrease and then a single crochet, decrease, single crochet, and repeat all around and we should have eight single crochet stitches. Here is a decrease and then just a single crochet stitch, decrease, and then a single crochet stitch. Continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. Round seven, we are going to stay at eight single crochet stitches. So we will do one in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. When you get to the end, you're going to cut off a long tail and fasten off, and here's your tail completed. For the ear, you are going to make a slip knot onto your hook, chain two, that's one and two. You're going to do four single crochet into the first chain, that's one and two, three, and four. Okay, make sure to pull it tight. Round two, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, and you'll have six single crochet stitches at the end. In our very first stitch, we are going to have one and two, and in our next stitch, just one. And then repeat the pattern again of one and two into the same stitch. And then one in our very last stitch right here. We are going to do a single crochet stitch. For round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, one, two, one, one and you'll have eight single crochet stitches at the end. So in our very first stitch is one and two, and one and one. Repeat the pattern again. It's one and two in our next stitch, and then one and one in our last stitch. And there should be eight single crochet stitches. 
For round four and five, we are going to stay at eight stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. For round six, our pattern is a decrease, single crochet in our next two, and then repeat one more time and you'll have six single crochet stitches. So here is our first decrease, and then a one, and one. Repeat again, we're going to do a decrease, and then one single crochet stitch, and in our last stitch, just one single crochet stitch. For round seven, our pattern is a decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, and you'll have four single crochet stitches at the end. So here is our first decrease, and then a single crochet stitch, decrease again, and then a single crochet stitch in our very last stitch. And you'll want to cut off a long tail and fasten off. And here is our ear completed and you'll want to make two. For the belly patch with white yarn, you will do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that is one, two, three, four, five, and six. And pull the ring closed. For round two, it is two in each stitch all the way around, and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So in our first stitch, it's going to be one and two. And in our next stitch, one and two, and continue to repeat the pattern around. For round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one. Repeat around and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches at the end. So that's one and two and one. Repeat again, one and two and one. And continue to repeat around. For round four, our pattern is two, one, one, two, one, one. Repeat around and you'll have 24 single crochet stitches. So that's one and two, and one and one. Repeat again, it's one and two, and one and one, and continue to repeat all the way around. For round five, our pattern is two, and then in our next three, just one, repeat around, and you'll have 30 single crochet stitches. So that's one and two, and in our next three, it's just one, one, and one. And continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For round six, our pattern is going to be two, and in our next four, just one. And you're going to repeat that three times, so you go only go halfway. So we're going to do our first stitch, one and two, and then one, two, three, and four. Repeat again. One and two, and then it's one, two, three, and four, and then we're going to repeat one last time. We're going to do two right there. That's one and two, and then one, two, three, and four, and then we're going to do a slip stitch and then fasten off. You want to cut a super long tail and fasten off. And here is your belly patch completed. 
For the knapsack with brown color yarn, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to pull our loop closed and use a stitch marker. Now for round two, our pattern is two in each stitch all the way around and you will have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So that is one and two. Repeat again, one and two and continue to repeat around. For round three, our pattern is two. And then our next three, just one, and repeat around, and you'll have 15 single crochet stitches. So that's one, and two, and then one, two, and three, and repeat again, one, and two, and one, two, and three, and one last time is going to be one, and two, and one, two, and three, and now we should have 15 single crochet stitches. For round four and five, we're going to stay at 15 single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. For round six, our pattern is a decrease. And in our next three, just one, repeat around and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches. Here's our first decrease. Then it's one, two, and three. Repeat again, a decrease, and then one, two, and three, and repeat one last time, a decrease, and then one, two, and three, and now we should have 12 single crochet stitches. And go ahead and stuff your knapsack. For round seven, you'll want to decrease all around and at the end, you should have six decreases. So that's one and our second decrease, three, four, five, and our very last six decreases. So for the top, we want to sew it shut with three single crochet stitch across. So we're going to go through both layers. So I'm going to go through this stitch right here and through the back layer and then do a single crochet stitch. And I'm going to do that for the next stitch as well. Go through both layers. That's two. And my last layers, that's three single crochet stitch. And we've sewn it closed. And now I'm going to chain one and turn. And for row nine, we're just going to do single crochet stitch across. So that's one and two and three. And then you'll want to cut a long tail and fasten off. Now to assemble our knapsack, you're going to pinch the top closed and pull your yarn through and wrap your yarn around the tip and then pull it through. And here's your knapsack completed.
Spanish Totoro. Be sure to like and subscribe so you catch all my latest tutorials. And I will catch you later. Bye for now.